The best piece of advice that I could give if you want to lose a lot of money really fast is to start trading. Welcome and this is my very first piece of trading related content. I just want to share a bit of my backstory or my story of how I got first hooked into trading and just share a bit of the details of how the experience has been so far. I've been trading for about 14-15 months now, trying to become a consistently profitable trader, but it's proving to be very challenging. So I first got interested in trading back in 2007-2008, right around the big financial market crash in the US and I guess it rippled around the world and that's sort of when I first started paying attention to stocks and I was just watching the big bull run where stocks were just going up, up and up and they just weren't stopping. Then over the years I just accumulated a bunch of trading knowledge so I just learned how to read charts and just see which stocks are okay or stocks I liked and Probably around maybe 2015 or 16, I had made a watch list of stocks that if I had a trading account, I would have bought and hold. And then a few years later, I had checked on them and all of them had gone up by three to seven times in value. And at that point, I was kicking myself that I didn't invest, I hadn't I had missed out on getting those returns or gains and I could have had so much more money than what I had in my bank. So then it was I think around 2018 where I opened up my very first trading account. Of course, I didn't trade or use it at all and it ended up being closed down. So some time had gone by and finally in 2020 I opened up another trading account and by November, late November 2020 I made my first trade. Unfortunately I missed out on the massive March 2020 stock market rebounds so that kind of sucked. I remember when I made my very first trade and some goals I had set was I hope to get a 60% return before the end of the year and I ended up being in the red. <laughs> and since that time I've been always in the red basically. When I started trading I was only doing swing trades so this was maybe some days, some weeks, sometimes even months where I was holding on a trade and it was always buying a stock holding it, so doing long, never shorted, never got into leverage or anything. I just wanted to keep it simple because I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing and I could become profitable and then at that point I could go and explore more, let's say, complicated ways. I made some decent, good trades, let's say, or I had kind of good progress where I wasn't doing that great but I wasn't doing that bad. However, I made maybe half a dozen, maybe 10 really bad trades. I'm talking about 30 to 70% losses that I took and those had really hurt or destroyed my gains, let's say, or ruined my gains and one of the reasons why I ended up in the red after my first year of trading rather than being in the gray in the greens luckily it was more on the smaller amounts than my full account so it did take a hit into my account but it wasn't as significant if i had risked a lot more money into those trades but it still sucked and i think most new traders suffer from this problem where they make some good progress, they're going and then BOOM! They make one or two or three or five bad trades and it just kills them and then it's almost like this snowball effect where they try and make it back or they keep 
doing things impulsively rather than sticking to what works and then they end up losing even more money and then they get more frustrated then they make more bad decisions in trades and then it's just this vicious cycle and at some point you look at your account and wondering where most of your money has gone. <laughs> I do think it's easy to make some trades that you get good results from. However, the more important thing is you're also going to make bad trades. It's unavoidable. There's no way you can go about it. And what you do or how you handle those bad trades, like knowing when to get out, knowing when to hold and wait until rebounds, or assuming you have some indication that it could rebound, will definitely help you from turning red or having a negative return in the end. And this is what will dictate whether you are a successful trader or not. So in more basic terms is when you make a, a trade and you assume it's going in a particular direction and it ends up doing something completely different, let's say falling or going down, you need to know or learn that, okay, this didn't go as I hoped and you need to know to cut your losses and cut your losses early rather than when they blow up or balloon into massive amounts because then it's just so difficult to recover from that. And because I had some really bad trades that I took some really big losses, it ended up being um, a roller coaster of emotions where you're feeling up when things are going well and then down, down. And every time you log in, you just see a, re a red negative balance. Um, this is how much percentage your account has lost in value. And it's always not fun and not enjoyable to see that, even if it's just unrealized gains. And this is something that, you know, you're going to have to deal with. At the end of my, let's say, first year of trading, I, of course, was in the red. I didn't do as, let's say, terrible as some people where they blow up their accounts or they have no money left. I still had almost all my money, but I was in the red. At the end of the first year, I decided that I wanted to try a new trading strategy. So I had read some books, gained some more knowledge in the previous months. And there was a point where I was like, okay, this new strategy seems like it would work really well. I had a lot of confidence. I decided to go all in on it and it's basically doubled my losses in my account within a matter of maybe a month or two. And I basically have stopped swing trading since then. And in the last several months, so probably two, three-ish months, I've switched over to day trading. And I would say overall it's going good, but I still struggle with managing risk or downsides, knowing when to cut losses. And I've had maybe one or two really bad days that have just wiped out all of my gains or completely flipped my uh, return into the negative. And this is really, really tough. It's a struggle because you're doing so well, you're making good progress, you're being consistent um, in making positive returns, and then one day comes along, you make a really bad decision, and then you keep making really bad decisions, y you know, the stock goes down, and then it just keeps going down, 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 and then at some point you're like, okay, I need to cut my loss, and that's all your gains, and erase from one bad trade and that's that's the most frustrating and challenging part it ends up being hard on you emotionally and then you make poor decisions during the trade because everything is happening kind of fast let's say and you have to say oh do i hold and hope that it goes back up or do i sell cut my losses but then what if the stock goes up and then you get all frustrated but then what if it goes down? So there's all sorts of emotions or things going on in your head. 
and it clouds your judgment, let's say. And if you don't make the right decisions, then you will be stuck with a big loss. So there's definitely a lot of stress involved around trading. And the worst part is there's no guarantee that you're actually going to be good at it. And it does take quite a long time to get good at it. From what I've read and seen, most people take about one or two years before they become consistently profitable. And the things that end up holding you back is, I've already talked about it, risk management. So knowing when to cut your losses. So when things aren't going as you had hoped, knowing when to stop and say, okay, that's it cut your losses so they don't get any worse. Managing your emotions because you're gonna have days where you're overconfident, you make some good trades and then you go into over trading, you make poor decisions when things aren't set up properly, you go into the trade anyway and then things don't work out and then you're kicking yourself and then all of a sudden you have a lot of negative emotions so it's very much a roller coaster of emotions up down. And then probably the last one is just not knowing, you know, how you're doing, not looking into your the data of your trades, so not having a trading journal and seeing how you're doing, how you're performing. Is your entrance into a trade and exit good? Could they have been improved? There's all sorts of things that you can do and analyze, and if you don't do that, then you have no idea and you can't improve or learn from your past mistakes. I, I find that there's a lot more to it than just knowing when to buy and sell. So there's a lot of emotional, psychological things involved that you really need to have your game. And then if you have things hanging in your head from past day losses or past day wins, and then you go into a new trading day with those, in your mind where you're overconfident or you're being cautious, then yeah, it's going to affect your trading and it could be positive or negative and then it could bring more emotions to you. I've also found that I've gotten really sucked into trading and it's hard to stop just to go away from it. You wanna get good at it, you wanna be good at it and you do more and more and more and then it ends up biting you or it doesn't work out in that. And that's probably one thing I've, I've struggled with. I think the worst stuff is having one or two trades that just ruin you or set you back by a massive amount. Those are the days where you just wanna quit, give up and say, okay, this trading thing just isn't for me. I I'm done, like I, I don't wanna deal with this you know, you make so much good progress and then bang, like you fall off a cliff with a trade and you know, taking those hits are, are really tough and it, it, you know, sometimes you just wanna just quit. So in my opinion, those are some of the things that if you go into trading as a beginner that you're going to have to deal with and you're you're gonna face them at some point in time and how you handle them will dictate whether you end up becoming a consistently profitable trader or you quit or you blow up your account and then quit. Personally, I'm still not there yet. I still have a long ways to go. I have a lot of weak areas that I need to improve on before I can become a consistently profitable trader. I think I know how to be profitable, but the thing that hurts me the most is managing the risk, managing the downsides. And the last thing I want to say is just to leave some advice for people out there if they're just starting. You might watch some videos or maybe you read a blog post of some trader who's made a hundred thousand in their first year or they've gotten their account up to one million dollars and you might have this false pretext that it's super easy and hey you start trading and one year two years down the road you're gonna have a million in your account as well and I think that kind of goal or having such a goal is not good where it's a monetary figure 
and you're just going to set yourself up for failure, more stress, and you, you're not going to enjoy the process. And I do think at the beginning, one should probably have a goal of something like to lose as little money as possible. The other thing that I would advise is it's tough. It's very tough to be a profitable trader. You always hear people don't aren't able to do it and then they just say buy and hold for the long term and just get the market returns. But you know, if you want to go down the trading path, it's going to take time. You're going to have terrible bad days. You have to manage the emotion, the psychology of that. It's going to be tough. How you manage those downsides is all about your risk management. So I would highly suggest focusing on risk management. So rather than thinking, okay, this is what the stock's going to do and I think it's going to go up to spend more time thinking about the pessimistic side rather than the optimistic because I think most traders end up focusing on the optimistic where you're saying okay I'm going to buy here and then I'm going to sell up here rather one should be thinking okay what will this stock stop at this level at this support or resistance Will this be a good buying point? What could happen if it doesn't go in this direction? Could it keep going down? Um, and think, okay, well, maybe this is a good entry point or not. And just thinking, okay, if, if it doesn't do what I hope it could, then to know, okay, this at this point is where I cut my um, trade and, and you know look into it maybe I'll enter in at a later point in time and I think if you can manage your risk or your downside keep your losses as small as possible and focus on that because that is the toughest part then it will make your journey to being a consistently profitable trader I think shorter and also easier and this is something that I'm finding out now and I'm really going moving forward going to put more focus on risk management and looking at okay the bad side and focusing on that because I feel if I can cover that then you know it's easy to you know be optimistic or getting out of trades but the hard part is knowing when to exit.